question before we start, and this is purely to satisfy my own curiosity. How did you get to this video so quick? Was it YouTube notifications, my Facebook post, or X? Let me know in the comments. The last time I made a video about Mikey Smith, he responded with this. Forehead. I don't know yet. I think I'm just gonna keep poking myself and making myself look like a clown. Now say what you will about Mikey. Is he wrong? Of course he's wrong. He's a flat earther. Is he an idiot? <laughs> You can judge that for yourselves. Now, I came across a video on his channel yesterday where he was trying to measure the distance to the moon using a laser because he thinks that the moon is only 50 miles away. Now, why he doesn't just jump in his car and drive towards the moon and then show us that it's only 50 miles away is beyond me, but at least he's trying, which is more than can be said for most flat earthers. Uh, you can see the moon in behind me. I'm filming. Uh, my theory is that the moon is a lot less than uh, probably closer than 50 miles away. You want to know how mental I am? No, we can see that from your video, Mikey. And isn't it handy that the moon just happens to be 50 miles away from you? So what about all the other flat earthers? How far away is the moon from them? Seems a little unfair to me. But anyway, let's have a look at Mikey's experiment and maybe a couple of his other videos if I can't stretch it out. <laughs> Please subscribe. Okay, folks. Uh, I need to see where I am here on the camera. Uh, you can see the moon in behind me. I'm filming. Uh, my theory is that the moon is a lot less than... Uh, probably closer than 50 miles away. You do realize that the moon's diameter is almost three and a half thousand kilometers, don't you? So if it was only 50 miles from Earth, it would look more like this. Doesn't work quite as well, does it, when you add a bit of reality into the equation? I have my uh, 3000 watt uh, laser. This is what I've been uh, holding back from everybody. I keep telling everybody about this experiment, so that's what it looks like. Hmm. Now, a 3000 watt laser is quite powerful. To put it into perspective, industrial lasers used for cutting and welding metals often range from 500 to 10,000 watts. And a 3000 watt laser can easily cut through thick steel, making it more than capable for lots of industrial applications. And it isn't something you'd want to mess around with casually. Now, in your video title, Mikey, it says that it's a 3 watt laser, which is probably more likely. So, we're not off to a great start, are we? It has a visible range of 18 miles. How is 18 miles going to help you prove the moon is only 50 miles away? You won't even be able to reach it. Now, I know this probably goes without saying, but the Apollo missions placed retro reflectors on the moon's surface. And these reflectors are used to bounce laser beams from Earth for precise measurements. But even with these reflectors, the lasers used are typically in the range of gigawatts and probably not bought off Amazon for $64.99, Mikey. And even then, the reflected light is so faint it's not visible to the naked eye. They have to use very sensitive equipment to detect the light being bounced back. So while theoretically possible, you would need a laser in the range of tens to hundreds of terawatts of power for a visible spot on the moon. And practically speaking, it's just not feasible with the current technology available to the public. And even if it was, I doubt any of us could afford to buy one. But we are here tonight, and I'm going to provide some proof, I guess, that hopefully we can get this laser to go to the moon. But how? You're basically using a child's toy, and you said it only reaches 18 miles. And even if we were to all go crazy and agree with you that the moon was only 50 miles away, it ain't gonna reach. And I have done that with a previous video already. It's just, I have not posted it. Ah, right. So this experiment has already been a success then. You just didn't post it. Don't worry, Mikey. I believe you. Millions wouldn't, but I do. Or maybe it's... Uh, so it's gonna take me a while here to get things focused. Uh, I need a better tripod head here. Yeah, a poor workman always blames his tools. And I don't think it's a new tripod head you need. I think what you actually need is a new head. More specifically, what's inside it? Um, it may take me a while, like I said. 
Uh, and I am not manipulating this video in any way, of course. Well, I'm glad you cleared that up, and based on everything we've seen so far, I don't think you'd be able to anyway. So we have the laser on, and it does take me a while to get this thing to um, show up on the camera. I don't know why this happens, so hopefully we can get it to work at some point here. Um, it took me like five minutes just to get this light to show up near the moon. Near the moon? Surely you mean on the moon, Mikey? Uh, I am pointing the laser at the moon. It just takes a long time. Oh, did you remember to check the beam spread, Mikey? Because even an A1M rad laser beam will spread to a diameter of about 384 kilometers on the moon's surface. So what would the spread be on the old Amazon special you've got there? To show up on the camera. Sorry, Mikey, I forgot who I was talking to. A1 milliradian or MRAD divergence means that the laser beam spreads out at an angle of one milliradian as it travels. And this is the measure of how much the beam widens over distance. Now, beam divergence, on the other hand, describes how much of a laser beam will be spread over a given distance. For a one MRAD divergence, the beam's diameter increases by one millimeter for every meter it travels. So even if your beam did reach the moon, what would you be expecting to see once it got there? Um, I can kind of see a blue tinge there on the side, uh, but like I said, it just, I don't know if it's the angle or the, due to perspective, how it, why it takes so long to show up out there somewhere. Well. Maybe if you squint your eyes and tilt your head and throw on a pair of glasses with a blue tint in them, you'd be able to see a blue tinge. But I don't think that's what you mean. I can tell you exactly why you can't see the blue laser beam on the moon, Mikey. Because you're using a child's toy. Oh, there it goes. Oh, there it was. Did you see it? I saw it. And it definitely isn't the blue light from the laser beam bouncing off air molecules in the atmosphere. So there we go. There's my laser. Going towards the moon there. And it looks like I'm not even doing it myself, like in relation to what I'm watching on the camera. But that is my laser. I don't know why it shows up like that, but we'll adjust again the camera. Oh, come on, you're letting the squad down. Focusing on distant objects at max zoom is a breeze if you ignore pesky details like narrow depth of field, atmospheric distortion and lens imperfections. Just hold your camera perfectly still because we've all got hands like a surgeon, right? Oh yeah, and you need to hope the autofocus isn't having an existential crisis. But hey, if Earth were flat, maybe it would be easier. Maybe we can get it on this side. It's just... Oh, I gotta get a better... So this laser heats up after a minute or two, or a couple minutes. Oh yeah, you want to be careful, Mikey. We wouldn't want you to hurt yourself. Well, no more than you already have, anyway. Now, the best part of Mikey's video, believe it or not, because it doesn't get much better than this, but the best part of the entire video was the comment section. This is not direct TV. At some point, Mikey watched this video and said, it's fine, Joanne, let's upload it to the internet. And whoop whoop 2601 asks, how many marker pens did you sniff before starting this video? It's kind of, like I said, it's kind of weird. Like I'm pointing it literally at the moon, at least from what I could tell. Yeah, that's all very interesting, Mikey. And can you tell that this is the stupidest video anyone has ever uploaded to YouTube? And just in case you missed it in your own comment section, Del Monte wants to say something to you. I can't work out whether Mikey has been smoking too much marijuana or not enough. And... <sighs> struggle is real. Keep shooting your three billion watt laser at the moon. <laughs> it's almost like a delay. 
Now, Techna436 makes a good point, but before we get to that, Mikey, there should be a delay. There should be a delay between you thinking of something and then allowing that thought out of your mouth. Then you wouldn't get yourself into this sort of situation. <laughs> there are no stars. This is fake. How do you do this? C G I or I don't know what it is, but <laughs> I'm doing what I can to get the laser there. Okay, cool. And while you were doing that, Mikey, I'll keep everybody here amused while we hear from Signal65, who says he's amazed you have enough brain power to even blink your eye. <laughs> I'll try to get it there one more time. I don't know if it's because when the moon goes to the right there, it starts to show up. There it is. And Long Dong Silver, who wins the internet today just for his username alone. <laughs> Well, he says, Mikey, I see that you like to embarrass yourself. Are you really that stupid? I don't think we even need to answer that question, do we? So there's my moon footage of the 18 mile laser footage. That's it? Your video was 8 minutes and 18 seconds long, and 8 minutes of it was you trying to focus your camera. No wonder John Boycher 1962 says your brain cell must be so lonely. Where is everybody? I'm, I'm the only brain cell left. And as you can see, it looks like it's going actually behind the moon too. Um, so... I would like some ideas and perspectives or opinions. I can do one better than that. I can give you an opinion and a perspective all rolled into one. But it's not from me, it's from your own comment section. You wanted a perspective? I'll tell you. You're stupid. Before I burn out, whoops. I rest my case. You're still here then. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe even learned something new. If you did, then you'll probably enjoy this video as well. Don't forget to hit the like button if you haven't already and subscribe if you're new. And I will see you all again very soon or in a few minutes if you do decide to watch this recommended video. <laughs> Love you, bye.